Do you want to see some actual moon rocks? We think of the moon as a simple gray rock in the sky, but when you hold real pieces of it in your hand, you realize the moon actually has a whole color palette. The photograph you're looking at showcases three lunar meteorites from my collection. Three very different colors of the moon all sitting side by side. On the left is Adrar 17. This one is new to science, officially recognized in 2025 and found in the Adrar region of Algeria. It comes from a single 18 kilogram stone that was blasted off the moon and eventually landed in the Sahara Desert. When you look closely at a slice, you see a mix of gray and white tones, pale classes of plagioglass feldspar mixed with darker, more olivine rich material. It's classified as a troctolitic northosite, which basically means a mashup of light crustal rock and greenish mafic materials that formed deep in the moon's ancient highland crust. Those soft grays and whites are the color of the lunar highlands. The bright battered regions you see with your backyard telescope or simply looking up in the sky. On the right, we jump to a totally different look with NWA 14577. This one is a lunar fragmental brescia, and it started as a pile of broken lunar rocks and mineral fragments that were smashed together by impacts and fused into a single stone. It was discovered in Mauritania in 2021, and the total known mass is just over a kilogram. On a polished slice like this, you see bright white and light gray class floating in an almost jet black ground mass background. It's high contrast, almost like someone scattered bits of lunar highlands into a dark lunar night sky. Those white class are mainly feldspathic material, highlands crust again, while the dark background is impact melt and fine debris. What makes NWA 14577 even more interesting is that it's being studied for its spinel content magnesium, aluminum spinel, and chromium-rich spinel crystals that can show up as a subtle pinkish or other colored grains under the right conditions. That spinel helps researchers decode how lunar magmas evolved and what kinds of high temperature processes were happening on the moon's crust as it was being formed. Now in the middle is something truly special. NWA 17405, sometimes nicknamed the Red Lunar. This meteorite was found in Algeria as a single 800 gram stone and you're looking at the main mass of that stone. On the cut face, you can see a brecciated mix of gray and black lunar material, but most notably cutting through that are these reddish zones. Scientists think that those areas are the result of aqueous or hydrothermal alteration, where fluids moved through the rock and altered its minerals. That's a big deal because it hints at localized water interactions with lunar rocks, maybe from ice or from water delivered by some sort of impact. This stone may help prove that the moon hasn't always been bone dry and boring. Put these stones together and you realize that the moon is gray is just a lie we tell ourselves from a quarter million miles away. Up close, the moon is pale and dark and rusty and high contrast and weird, and these little meteorites are the up-close splotches that prove it. So amazing. Give me a follow for more Space Rocks.